beauty of Atlanta is that it's a younger market. Hispanics are larger households, as you know. We live with our grandparents. We live with our parents until we're married. And then, you know, as well as we live with our grandparents, and then the grandchildren are also there, you're going to see. A lot of money in the Hispanic market, over $9 billion worth of disposable household income. If you look uh, throughout the world, culturally, people of African descent are at the bottom of the totem pole. So I think it's an excellent way for us to reach out and find some connection with the Latino market as well as some other diasporas throughout the uh, throughout the world. Of all the Atlanta population who are adults 18 to 34, 17 percent of them are Hispanic. Here's another beauty of the Hispanic market. We respond more to our commercials. We, we discuss our commercials more and because of the commercials we have a higher rate of actually acting on them and making those purchases. The concept, the power store is very powerful. It's much needed. Um, it's a good start. I'm glad I'm here. Let the people come go! We are the second largest minority in Atlanta, and we are growing. This is, Latinos are the largest minority in the United States. This is the Latin American Association right now. We're coming out uh, on it. We just left Univisions, and it was fantastic. Gwinnett, as you know, is the largest county with Latino population, and I believe that after that, it's Cobb County and uh, DeKalb, which is extremely strong as well. So no matter in which county you are, there is a very strong presence in your eventual Atlanta market. It's a culture that is learned to, help, to help one another, always reaching back and forth. That's why the numbers are going up and up and up and up. It's good information to take back to other people to join the organization. It is a mix of all the other, all the other groups. A strong Central American presence also. Okay, so when you're talking about who you who you uh, pitch to, pitch to Mexicans that way, and I got 300,000 of them every single week. How you do? Who it? We did it! What a wonderful, fantastic, productive tour. How to do business in the Hispanic and Latino community? It was phenomenal. Again, this is a wrap right now, but we started at Univision's right here in Buckhead. Okay, right here in the heart of Buckhead. Um, round table discussion with the executive of the for the tour. Um, then down to Latin American Association. But guess what? Don't talk to me. Talk to the actual participants, okay? So we can show you how we get it in. Did being on the tour today help you see uh, and identify some new opportunities for your business or for you to grow professionally? Um, absolutely. You know, it was a good experience to see something different. I got, got to meet, meet some good people. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but what I did see, I'm very appreciative of. I've never had the opportunity to meet the um, Univision or just to get an understanding of the Hispanic community outside of my daily dealings with your everyday um, uh, working relationship. But on a level as business, like um, the opportunity to take your business to the next level, talking with people who have um, position and power, and that can really get you into the community and introduce a product, whether it is uh, a personal service or something you drink or eat or whatever, but understanding the culture of the Latino and um, I don't know, I just got a different perspective today. <laughs> I didn't have that before and I'm glad I had the opportunity to release all stereotypes that I had and to see that you know everyone's just striving to understand each other's culture and to build a brand that we can all appreciate.